In the command window, type run important. It shows this message. We can help your research and engineering project. No matter of the size and the topic of your project, we can help. Visit www.yeeprogrammer.com. This is Mark Wu from yeeprogrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how to solve linear equation using MATLAB with numbers and symbolic toolbox. Now, this is the linear equation, the first set, 2x plus y equal to 5, minus 4x plus 6y is equal to minus 2. I type it in a matrix form. So minus 2, 1, minus 4, 6 is A, B is 5, minus 2. And then I use x is equal to inverse A times B. And you see the answer, 2, 1. And now that is how you solve the linear equations. Let's do another quick example. This time, x plus y plus z equal to 0. 3x minus 2y plus 4z equal to 9. x minus y minus z equal to 0. Now, I put a is equal to 1, 1, 1, 3 minus 2, 4, and 1 minus 1, minus 1. And b is equal to 0, 9, 0. Now, it's, it is just the same thing. Um, x is equal to the inverse a times b. Now, this is the answer. The next thing I'm going to talk about is how to use symbolic toolbox to find the answer. You know, most of the time we do not have a numbers. We use some symbols in our equation. So how can we use symbolic toolbox? Let's set six symbols a b c d e f so the first line in there is like setting up those symbols okay a i set it is equal to a b c d so that is the matrix form okay b is equal to e and f okay now i just need to use the same equation x is equal to inverse a times b. Now let's see. The answer gives us an equation. So basically you can use this equation, substitute those numbers and come up with the answers. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you.